Now, of course, I showed this in videos before. So let's say you're looking this way and you got your gun up and you see a deer. Well, let me just show you guys. All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. What a beautiful day it is out here. It is cold, crisp, God's country. I mean, I can't even remotely tell you how awesome it is to be out here and alive, walking around in God's beautiful, it's, it's just gorgeous, guys. Today, I have a good video for you. We are gonna be talking about something that has been talked about on my channel on several different videos, but today I have a huge, huge announcement. Do not skip this video. I'm gonna give you my personal opinions on this seat. You definitely wanna stick around, guys. We are heading to the tree, guys, where I want to do this video. Now, like I said, we're out here in the beautiful God's country. You cannot get any more beautiful than this. We're gonna come down here and we are gonna take a look at two different seats that I have done a video on. Now, there are many seats out there, believe me. We already all know this. Two that I really think are phenomenal. Two that I think are easily packable with your, basically your deer hunting or whatever, turkey hunting, squirrel hunting. It's beautiful for squirrel hunting. Great for turkey hunting. I mean, I have done a video, like I said, on these seats, both of them, and time to revisit them. And like I said, you definitely want to make sure that you stick around because there is a giveaway, a good giveaway, a very good giveaway for one of these seats. You definitely want to stick around. And I want to say a huge, huge, huge shout out to Lowdown Hunting Seat Fan Fanatic Outdoors. Wow, guys, you guys have really brought everything to the table with this seat. Thank you very, very much from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to give one of your seats away to one lucky subscriber. Let's jump into this video. Let me show you the pros and the cons of both the seats. I'll go over them real briefly and we'll close this video out with a damn good giveaway. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do, guys, is I wanna take and I wanna put these on the, on the tree. I'm gonna do this in a very fast time lapse so we don't have to watch 20 minutes of me hooking this up these things are pretty self-explanatory how to hook them up i'm just going to put it in a time lapse so we can get her done be done with it show you guys just the video so let me jump right into this All right, so the first thing I want to do is tell you guys that the one that I just took out of the package and put on the tree is the one I'm giving away. Let's talk about these and get this video wrapped up. Now, I did make a little list of things that I will be reading over, so not that it's going to be scripted because it's, well, it technically is, but I just want to tell you guys how I feel about these things and be honest because these things are game changers, both of them. So let's talk about it. All right, guys. First things first, this is the Millennium Tree Stand Tree Seat. This thing has really lived to its name. It is pretty phenomenal. I'm not gonna take anything from it. I'm gonna tell you some of the pros of this thing, and then we'll go to the pros of the <coughs> low down hunting seat. One pro is this can be worn on the back. So it has a strap, as you guys can see right there, and that right there you can sling around your back. Of course, you can add a bigger one if you like and you can actually carry it in the woods. It is very bulky. All right, this one right here. Now you can't put it on your back, but you can put it in a backpack. So, I mean, there you go for that, right? The low down hunting seat is completely packable and folds away when you're worn. So you can put it in your backpack, you can put it in your pocket. It has a clip, which I will show you on the carrying case, that when you walk in the woods, all you have to do is basically clip it to your belt loop which is right here with this carabiner 
and you can carry it and it is super super light that one uh well not so much so that is one thing that you just can't do with that that you can with the other is it a is it a deal breaker absolutely not the low down hunting seat you can put it on crooked trees now you see this tree probably in the in the video here it's probably not showing you that it's too crooked i purposely put it on the crooked side to show you that you can do it here i put it on the more not so crooked side and it's pretty decent so you can do both of them on crooked trees but to be super comfortable i think you'll have to go with your low down hunting seat that's at least my opinion another thing about the low down that one right there is it is fully adjustable so you can raise it up put it down if you want to go lower to the ground you can depends on what you're hunting now see for me if i was deer hunting or squirrel hunting that's the way i would have it the same with the millennium you can do both the same exact way perfectly set up one good thing about the lowdown versus the millennium is if i wanted to shoot <clears throat> a deer squirrel turkey whatever or look around a tree i have to physically move my whole entire body with the lowdown which i'm going to show you here in a second you don't have to do that you can just literally well let me just show you guys now of course i showed this in videos before so let's say you're looking this way and you got your gun up and you see a deer well if a deer's coming behind you i mean this is as far as you can go without having to really you know maneuver around to look but if you're in the low down it's no slippery guys and you see it let's say you're looking this way and you see a deer coming well all you have to do is go all the way around and there's very little movement i mean you could take your time and just move around either side so that is a huge plus for this tree seat so a question you might be asking yourself which one do i prefer is there one better than the next well that depends on your hunting style if you are a like i am most of the time you get in the woods and you just hike and hike and hike and hike and you're in the thick brush and then you're in the open then you're in the thick and then you're in the open which was the best personally if i had to tell you now am i getting paid to say any of this guys this is my own opinion they both have their definitely perks my personal preference is that low down hunting seat by fanatic outdoors not because they sent me something but because they truly are a fine fine seat if you were to trust me if you were to get in one and just sit and just sit you guys would be like damn mountain outdoors that mug told me some real good stuff there is one drawback for both of these seats which i don't like at all and it goes for pretty much any seat made like this now you guys see how thin this material is I mean, you can see my hand through it. Same goes with that one, because you can't see your hand through it, but it's very, very thin, all right? What happens is, now not today because it's not windy, but when you're sitting out here in the woods for three or four hours on a tree or whatever, do not, do not think you're gonna stay warm. I don't care what you got on there. Unless you have a wool blanket laying down or some kind of a barrier between your butt and that seat, you will get cold. That's the only drawback that i have seen with this seat either one of them now that goes for a lot of different seats too but i'm just telling you that is my only issue with them to date so bottom line is this guys uh depends on what you're looking for if you're in the open country where you're walking through fields and you've got open trees and you know they're both honestly they're both about the same comfort so i can't say that low down is the most comfortable seat i ever sat in because it's it's technically not it's a damn good seat it's got it's so versatile it's it's it blows the millennium away but for the comfort they're both about the same so it just really depends on where you're going you know do you have a turkey vest or are you put in the turkey vest because that millennium seat right there is not going in a turkey vest it's just not i mean if you can get in there then you're more of a man than i am all right i'm gonna end this right here guys with the giveaway now that seat that you see right there I am giving that one away to one lucky subscriber. I'm gonna be doing this video very soon, within a week or so. I know you're gonna be like, well, what does that even mean? But it doesn't really matter. This video will be out. All I want you to do, all I want you to do is tell me one of your best hunting stories that you have. Now, it could be about deer hunting, it could be about turkey hunting, it could be about squirrel hunting. I just wanna know, and I don't wanna see, I like squirrel hunting because squirrels taste good. I wanna, I wanna know something in depth. 
and I will gladly send you this seat because this seat was given to me by Fanatic Outdoors to give away and I want to give it to you guys for turkey season or whatever you got coming up. It's perfect for camping, perfect for taking on a motorcycle backpack camping trip. Wow, is that a game changer for camping, especially in the woods. I'm telling you, it's not just for taking, you know, hunting. It, it's it's multi-purpose. So definitely drop down in the comments, leave me a story of your favorite hunting expedition, trip, whatever you want to say, and I will pick from then. I will send this to you so you guys will have it well before turkey season comes in. So leave your comments below and I'll send it to you guys. Guys, if you like what you see, give me a like for this beautiful area for nothing else. God bless and we will see you on the next one. Have a great day.